Hey guys, hope you're well. Welcome to the first of my new tutorial series. It's going to be on geometric uh, drawing app. It's something that I use for most of my tattoos that I do on a daily basis. Um, it's a lot more technical than Procreate. It's more, it's designed by a geometric tattooist and it's aimed at geometric tattooists or people that use geometry in their design work. Um, there's a lot of cool features on this, so it's going to take me a while to get through them, but I'm going to do my best and start off something fairly similar to what we've been doing in the last tutorial series on Procreate. It's going to be a kind of repeating pattern brush. Um, it's just a way of doing it in Geometrica that's a little bit quicker, a bit different. Um, the first thing that we're going to do, open Geometrica, you want to file new, and I always open a portrait shaped um, page. So if you look along the top, it's quite a simple setup. The first thing that you come to is your drawing tools. You got dot work, you have an airbrush, a pen tool, you got a rubber straight line and a paint bucket tool. Um, the next thing along that's obviously your color palette. I'm going to select a pen tool today and I want the color to be black. Um, the next thing that you come to is going to be your rulers straight line ruler you click it to turn it on click it to turn it off straight line ruler you grab the end of it and you can turn it all around to any direction and then you can draw a straight line in that direction um, one thing that i have found is if you grab it and if you move it along the bottom half of the page then you can move it totally freely um, if you come along the top half of the page the ruler snaps to point so every five degrees it'll snap so this is helpful if you want your designs to be super accurate. Um, the next thing that you come to uh, in the rulers is your ellipse ruler. It's a circle ruler. Um, and then the third one is an oval ruler. So I'm going to get rid of both of those. Just two finger tap to erase the last move. Um, turn the oval mirror off. So that's the first tool that you come to. That's your rulers. The next one along, that's your mirror effect. You can en enable this to turn it on. And then you've got your horizontal or your vertical mirror. Um, just the same as any other mirror. Whatever you draw, it'll be the same on the other side. So then just press the button again to disable it. The third tool that you come to is your repeat effect. That's what we're going to be messing with today mainly. Um, so if you turn it on to enable it, you've got your two different uh, orientations, you've got vertical and horizontal. There's a third one, which is polar, which I'm going to get to in a different uh, tutorial because that is going to take a little while in itself to explain. So today I'll mess with the vertical one. Yeah, I just prefer to use the whole page. Um, the segment size down here, the higher up it is, the less segments that it'll repeat. The less segment size the closer they'll be together. So today I'm gonna to show you a couple of cool little things that we can do with this. So I'm gonna keep the repeat effect on. The segment size, roughly about an inch apart maybe. I'm gonna keep them about 200. I'm gonna turn the mirror on. I want the horizontal mirror to be on. And then the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select the dot work brush and then I'm gonna start just drawing some dot work effects across the center of the page. And this is more of a, a design, I guess. This is more cool to look at rather than it being for an actual tattoo or a stencil that you could then print off and put on someone's skin. You wouldn't be able to stencil all this dot work. Um, so if you did want to make this into a tattoo stencil, I would suggest using the paint bucket tool and filling the whole thing in rather than using this dot work brush that I'm using. You'll understand why in a moment. Um, sorry if this is a little bit confusing. It's confusing me, to be honest, as I'm going through it. So I'm going to come to the pen tool. Uh, try and stick with me. Pen tool. And then I'm going to have it white. So the first thing that I'm going to do is draw a kind of, I guess, a kind of leaf shape. So you can see what this tool does already. It kind of repeats your uh, whatever you're drawing it repeats it in a straight line um, this would be cool as a design straight down the center of the forearm back of the calf that kind of thing um, so if we then move out a little bit and draw the next part of our 
fan. And then one final bit out here. So then I'm going to turn on my eraser tool and just get rid of everything that's outside of what I've just drawn. So this is an example of how I may tattoo this actual design onto skin. The center of the pattern would be darker, darker dark work, and as I come out to the sides, it would be lighter. Um, I've used this dark work just to, as an example. It looks a little bit cooler than just it all being solid black. You can kind of understand uh, where I want to go with this a little bit more. So this is your vertical repeat effect. Next thing I want to do, um, <laughs> next thing I want to do is I'm going to do a kind of uh, a pattern brush, I guess, in a sense. It's similar to what we've been doing on Procreate. So come down to segment size. Um, I'm going to drop this down to about 100, so it's a little bit closer together. Um, the good thing about Geometrica is that you can use all of these different tools at the same time in unison with each other, um, bar a couple of different things. So I want to select the ruler tool, straight line tool. I'm going to come on to the pen tool, take the thickness down a little bit to 1011. And then first thing I'm going to do is draw, we want it to be a black brush. First thing I'm going to do is draw a straight line. Okay, so turn off your ruler and then we're going to play with this repeat effect. So twist the page to the side slightly. Um, I want to do, see if we do a kind of little curve line there. So you can see already, it's similar to the brushes that we've been making in Procreate last week. Um, if you come into the repeat effect, you'll see this other option, which is mirror. So if you turn this on, you'll see that it comes up with another dotted line between each of the divisions. Um, what that does, let's come back a few steps. What that does is it actually mirrors whatever you do on the vertical. So there you can do a bit more of a, a different pattern brush, basically. Um, if you turn the mirror on, it obviously mirrors each little segment for you. So then you can continue to draw your little um, pattern brush, I guess. Uh, you can also copy and paste this into Procreate to use to, for other designs. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave this tutorial there today, maybe. That is the repeat effect. You've got the vertical repeat effect. Um, oh, there's one last thing, actually, I wanted to show you. Let me... You've got your layers over here as well, just the same as on Procreate. If you want to open a new layer, just press the plus down here in the corner. I'm actually going to hide the previous layer. So one other cool little thing I want to show you is in, you want the repeat effect, you want the mirror tool on. Um, with the mirror effect, you can see this offset here. What I'm gonna do is change the offset. So basically whatever you draw, it won't be the same on the other side. So let me move this slightly. I don't know if you can see that there in the middle, but you've got this little line that moves along as you move it. You want to move the offset to be on the dotted line. So then I'm just going to draw a, I'm going to select the straight line tool. And I'm just going to draw a straight line down the center. So you can see that it offsets it. It kind of flips whatever you're drawing. And then you can draw another line. So there you have this kind of continuing pattern that carries on throughout the design. Um, yeah, you'll have to forgive me because I don't really know all the technical words for <laughs> what you actually uh, do in this program. Um, it's something that I know how to use fairly well, but I'm, I'm not amazing at explaining it. So I'd love your feedback um, on how easy or difficult you found this tutorial to use, uh, to understand, to follow. 
um, and I'll try and make it a little bit better, uh, easier to use, or if there's anything you'd like to go back over or explain better in another tutorial, please let me know. Um, there is, like I say, an awful lot to this program, so it can look a little bit overwhelming and confusing when you first get into it, but just do one step at a time. Just uh, start on this repeat effect. If you've not used the program before, start on this repeat effect, mess around with a few different um, options that you can use. Um, and yeah, you, you'll, you'll, you'll pick it up. Uh, practice makes perfect. So yeah, I'll be back in a couple of days with another um, tutorial. It will be on the repeat effect, but it will be on the polar repeat effect, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I hope uh, you found this useful. Please let me know um, if you would like me to go over anything again or, yeah, give you a bit more information. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one.